Hey guys, my name is Arlene Yuan. I'm the owner of Teapop, and I'm actually really surprised at how many people don't know how to brew tea or they think it's really complicated. So I'm here to teach you the basics and school you on how to make a very, very wonderful, warm or iced cup of tea. So I'm gonna show you just three types of tea right now. There's green tea, oolong tea, and black tea. And I wanted to show you the difference between the loose leaf tea that we sell in our store and brew fresh, um, and also a bag tea. So what I've done here is I cut open a bag of tea that you would buy at the store. This is a chai tea, so it has black tea in it. Um, so you'll kind of see the difference, right? So right here, we've got green loose leaf tea, I have oolong loose leaf tea, black tea, and then what, would you, what you would buy um, in a retail tea bag at the store. Um, so the retail tea bag, it's kind of in the size of like pepper, ground pepper. Um, so it still has flavor to it. However, you're not gonna have like the quality of freshness as you would from loose leaf tea that you would buy from say a tea bar or a tea shop. You'll see how the tea expands and how you get more robust flavor out of each tea. Um, so I'll show you that in a moment with our jasmine green tea. Um, what you wanna look for in quality is you wanna look for the consistency of the tea leaves. You wanna see that each leaf is um, long or it's rolled, depending on what kind of tea it is. And I'm just gonna be working with these three teas right now um, because they go great as a milk tea, as an Arnold Palmer, as a plain tea, hot or cold. And I'll show you how to cold brew versus hot brew and what the difference is, okay? Just so you know, all teas, like I have here, green tea, black tea, oolong tea, white tea, it all comes from the same plant. It's called Camellia sinensis, all right? So the difference between the teas are gonna be how they're oxidized, how they're dried, if they're rolled, the way that they, they look is what determines the, the flavor, okay? I have a teapot here. This holds about five cups. I'm just gonna put four in there. And so for every teaspoon, you're gonna add one cup of water, okay? So I keep all my tea in airtight containers like this because you wanna retain the freshness and you don't want it to become moist or stale, all right? I'm gonna fill this up and then we're gonna let it steep for about three minutes. So green tea is a little bit more delicate than black tea. So you don't wanna use boiling hot water. You're gonna to wanna to bring it up to a boiling point and then let it cool for about 10 minutes, okay? Boiling point is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, we wanna bring this to about 185, 190. So if I wanna bring it to about 190, I wanna wait about um, 10, 10 minutes, 10 to like 15 minutes for this to kinda of cool down to the, to the temperature that you want so you don't over roast or over brew this tea because it can taste pretty bitter if you use uh, boiling water on a tea like green tea, okay? So we're gonna leave this, I'm gonna set my timer. All right, so if you are a tea purist, you're gonna love the flavors of tea. However, if you want to add a little sweetness to it, which I like for an iced tea, I'm gonna make kind of a simple honey syrup here. It's really, really easy. All you're gonna do is take honey and a little hot water, one to one ratio, and just mix it up. So I have about two ounces of honey, and then I put in two ounces of hot water, and so I'm just diluting it here. So you can add it to your green tea and sweeten to taste. Okay, perfect. So now that your tea is steeped, what you're gonna wanna do is take out the leaves, right? So normally if you were to order tea at a coffee shop or a cafe, they give you a tea bag, they put it in the hot water, and then you just carry it around for the rest of the day, right? So what that does is you're basically over brewing your tea. Okay, so you can get multiple flushes out of loose leaf tea and you're still gonna get a really, really great flavor um, out of it and you get more tea. So I recommend taking it out right away when you're done steeping it. Um, so this is gonna be our first flush of green tea. I recommend drinking this 
with a friend. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something about tea. Make sure to check out our website, teapopla.com, for a bunch of goodies if you wanna buy loose leaf tea to brew at home or get one of our boba kits. We've got all kinds of stuff on the website that you're gonna love. I'll see you guys next time.